Hello everyone, my name is Hanson Korean, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create simple overlays for Clash Royale. We're going to be using Adobe Photoshop, Vegas Pro Video Editor, Bluestacks, and GreenShot to create this overlay. For those of you that don't have these programs, there are three alternatives. For Adobe Photoshop, you can use PicMonkey or Pixlr. For Vegas Pro, you can use Wii Video or Windows Movie Maker. There are many other free alternatives, so just search around for whichever suits you best. I will leave links to all of the programs I've suggested and the programs which I'm going to be using. Let's get started here in Adobe. First, we want to create a new file. File new. Change the name to Clash Royale Overlay. And let's change our preset to Film and Video. And we want this selected to whatever size our screen monitor is. So mine's 1920 by 1080, so it's already there. If yours was 1280 by 720, you can use this. If it's not here, you can create a custom one. But I'm just going to go back to my settings here. Okay. So now we have a blank background. Let's go to Blue Sacks now and use Greenshot to select our Clash Royale area, press print screen, and then click on the bottom left, hold, drag all the way to the top, make sure you only have the Clash Royale screen in there, and then copy to clipboard. Then we're going to go and paste this into Adobe. Here we go. It should be in the center already. Let's, if it's not, then try to make it in the center. Let's turn this background off, click the eyeball. There we go. And now let's find our background image that we are going to use on Google. Okay, let's find a color gradient. Um, let's use something pretty. Let's use... These are all kind of odd looking. I want to use this one though. Let's go this gray and pink. Save image, gradient, and let's copy it in. Wrong screen, copy in Adobe, not Bluestacks. There it is, it's tiny, let's line it up here, stretch it all the way, and then place. Right click and press place. You have to do this everything that you add. Let's also go over here and change the name of these layers. So layer 1, let's change this to Clash Royale. Let's change this gradient to background color. Actually, let's go BG color. BG color. There we go. So if I was to drag this BG color layer over the Clash Royale layer, it would show on top of it. So let's drag it back down. It's all based on the order that it is in here. There we go. Okay, so now let's get the Clash Royale logo in here. Let's search Clash Royale, Clash Royale logo, transparent. We want to get images that are transparent, just because we won't have to edit it out. Usually there's a white background and you have to actually go around and take it out. I'll also show you guys how to do that later. Save image, Clash Royale logo. Let's drag that in here. There we go. You can see that there's nothing behind it, so there's no white background because it's transparent. Drag it here. Right click the bottom. You'll see this little arrow changing to diagonal arrows. Hold there, press shift, and it'll make sure that it's all uniform across. If you don't hold shift, it's going to go like this. But if you hold shift, it'll be uniform. So let's change that there. Clash Royale right there. That looks nice. Right click, best place. If you want to change this again, we just have to go to edit and press free transform, or we can transform and choose what we want to do. Scale, rotate, skew, distort, flip horizontal, lots of different things. Let's go back here to flip back. Okay, let's change this to CR logo. There we go. Okay, now let's now I'm going to drag, let's see, let's find a sign. So some of you guys were interested in how to make that like Twitter board, let's see. Medieval sign. That's what I use. So there's these ones. We can use this one. It's not transparent in the background though, so we'd have to do a lot of editing there. I don't want to do that right now. So let's use maybe this. No, there's a overlay on top of that. Is that something that doesn't have a bunch of symbols on top of it? This one's too much work right now as well. Use this one? No. Let's use... Let's see. Hmm. I want that wooden one right there. Yeah, this, no, this one has something. Okay, we can use this. There's stuff on top, but it won't be that hard to get off. So show in folder. Okay, let's drag this into Photoshop. Here we go. 
yeah, it's so small you can't even see it. So now we want to go in here. This is one that has a background in it, so you want to change that right now. So let's zoom in here with this magnifying glass. Place first, place, and then zoom. So now we want to remove this white background. A lot of people wonder how to do this. You want to use this little polygonal tool over here. Start here, click, 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 click. Okay. I'll put a link in the description to where you can go to skip this part, but it might take a little, a couple minutes here. You ideally don't want white spots like I just created. I'm just making a quick one, so it's going to be kind of ugly. The more time you take, the better it'll be, to be honest. But I just want to go quickly. So yes, it's looking pretty terrible right now. Let's just go straight across here. If you hold shift, it'll create you a straight line. So that can help for like the straighter edges. Sometimes you'll be copying things that have straight edges, so that will be a lot of help. Okay, we're almost at the end here. There we go. When we get to the end, it'll create a little circle on the bottom right of our polygonal tool. Click that. Now we want to select inverse and press delete. Okay, if this error pops up, that's because you haven't changed this. So we want to go to our layer here, right click, and rasterize layer. And now we can press delete. And there it goes. And then we'll deselect and zoom back out. So click the zoom button, right click on the screen, fit on screen. Okay, now we can move that around. You put it over here. You could increase the size right here. Free transform. Shift click. There we go. Now we press the check mark to place it. Okay, so let's change the name of this as well to, I guess, social sign. And now let's add our Twitter logo. So let's search Twitter logo transparent. There we go. This one's probably a transparent one right here. These little checkerboard boxes come up behind it. That means it's transparent, by the way. Let's save this image to main images. It's a GIF. It's a GIF, so I don't know if it's going to work. Let's try. Where is it? It's right here. Okay, it worked. Let's resize it. We want to get on this board, right? Oh, we don't want to do that. Let's step backward. Undo. Trade this on here. That's way too big. Let's go here. There we go. We can change the color of this if we want using this paint bucket, place the file, rasterize, yes, and then we can paint it to white, because that's more easy to see, or we can paint it to our actual color, we'll click here, change the color, let's see, let's go blue, not that blue, it's kind of blue, there we go, that's easily visible, let's go text here, and then no, I want to escape that. Oh, click and drag text. Let's say our Twitter is handsome. Korean. <coughs> okay. So now we're going to click this so we can move it around. We want to resize it. So let's edit, free transform. Resize that. And then let's rotate it a bit. We want it to match up. And then click this accept button. Yeah, it's, it's almost there. Free transform again. Go right click, rotate. Let's rotate that. There we go. Now you need to scale it a bit more because it's not fitting in there. Scale. I'm just right clicking, clicking to get those menus. By the way. There we go. If we want to move it a little bit, we can use the arrow keys. And there we go. Let's leave that there. That was good. It's a bit hard to see, but you guys can mess with the colors later. That's good, that's good. Okay, we'll just change these to twit. Actually, no, we, we will combine all these because we're going to have them all combined. So just click here, you can control shift click, grab all those layers, merge layers, and now we have just one layer. Wait, why did that move? Let's go back, actually. I accidentally moved something before. Yes, there we go. Okay, now let's combine them all. It's not there. Where is this? Combine these first. No. Social Science CR logo. Okay. We can merge these two right now. Let's try to merge these next. I don't know why. Maybe rasterize type? No. Let's see. Convert to smart object and then let's try to still can't merge. That's odd. Oh there. 
Okay, so it's very dependent on which way we actually chose it. So now we have one object here. We can turn that off if we want, turn it back on. There we have our logo signs. Next we can add some Clash Royale characters. So I already have some of those. Here's the Blue King laughing. Transparent background. You can drag that in there. There we go. And then we can add, I guess, a golem. We have to place that first. Place. Add the golem now. Let's flip them horizontal. There we go. Place. There we go. In the game, if his arms were here like this, it'll actually show like that, so his arm will be over. So that looks good. It's our first overlay. It's very simple, but most of the things that I showed you here, you can use with other images. It's basically about finding what kind of images you want and then playing with them, having fun with them. Okay, so now let's take this image and save as. First, we want to turn off this Clash Royale background. Actually, no, I forgot. We want to make a rectangle here. So let's click on this BG color layer get this square tool and copy around that Clash Royale image there we go then we want to delete this can we yet? we can't so we have to change this to a smart object convert to smart object and then press delete Did not not directly editable oh we had to rasterize it, rasterize it well okay there we go now it's gone okay so let's deselect we can turn off Clash Royale area now we have our overlay right here. Let's go to File, Save As. We want to save as a PNG because that keeps our transparent background. So change it to whatever name you want. I'll use that. There we go. Now we have that. Now we're going to open up Vegas Pro and drag that overlay in. So where is this overlay that I just saved? There it is. Drag it in here. There it is. You can see it here on the screen. Now let's drag in our Clash Royale video. You should have that. If you don't know how to make a video, I made a video about it already. So you can go there. I'll link it in the description and on the screen. Okay, so let's drag our video in. Here we have our video. You'll see now it's showing up in the middle here. And there we go. If we play it, it'll have that. We have our overlay. It looks good. Everything's centered. If you notice that it's not centered, you can go back to Adobe and mess with it, change the size.